if there's any one thing about figuring out how to catch fish and listening to the bass, it's a topwater bite. Be it a buzz bait, be it a, a popping bait, be it a walking bait like a sexy dog, whatever it is, the cadence in which you get the first bite is a big clue that you need to replicate that same action, that same motion. So always try different things. Pop it three or four times fast, let it sit, move it quick, one big pop, one big loud bloop. Figure out what it is that they are wanting and let them tell you. And once they show you, replicate it. There's a good one right there. That one hit it as soon as it hit the water. He's got splash all in him. Come here, dude. He's wearing it like a cigar. Just the way you want him to. All right, KVD splash. Now that one didn't tell me a lot other than he was right next to the bank. So that may be the clue that I need to catch some better fish. He hit it as soon as it hit the water. I mean, I didn't even get the reel engaged. Chunky little bass. The KVD Splash comes in 10 different colors. We've got two very clear water colors and we've got moderately clean water here today. You can see that it's translucent on the inside. It's a clear, sexy, sexy shad type color. And I like baits like that in clear situations so the bass doesn't get a good look at it. Low overcast conditions, I want more of a, a, a stronger color, say a white color like the, the belly of a sexy shad. Bone is another real good one. And then on high, flashy, bright days where you need some flash, gold, sexy chrome, sexy chrome shad, and blue and, sec blue and chrome are, are some of my favorites. But we've got 10 different colors, 10 different, 10 different ones, and as soon as I get this algae off my line, we'll get after and get another one. That one hit it when it hit the water. Ploosh, bam, got him. When choosing a rod and reel for topwaters, it's pretty simple. You want a relatively fast tipped rod with a reasonable butt section that you can make long casts with this. It won't be long, fall will be here, we'll have a lot of schooling fish. You need to make pinpoint casts. When they're not schooling, you need to be able to present the bait in real tight corners. You can either need to be able to flip the bait just like that to put it over there next to the boat dock, skip the bait one time under the boat dock, under the tree, uh, but you want something that's fairly accurate. And what I find is a forgiving tip is a real key to a topwater rod. I'm using monofilament. This is Seaguar 15 pound cinchy line. This is the new green, so they can't see it near as well. But that little bit of stretch, man, that does so much for me personally, because I'm kind of jittery. One pops it real good, I'll take it away. That little bit of stretch has a lag time from me feeling the fish seeing the fish to me feeling the fish. Big, big importance. Monofilament also floats, so it keeps the bait mouth up and in a proper position. I use a high-speed reel. This is a Lose Tournament Pro, 7.1 to 1, so I can reel it in and make that long cast to a fish that I see breaking. But a light-tipped rod, monofilament line. Another thing, if you're over grass, monofilament's really tough. So you may want to look at a braid, a, a Konzen, you know, in a, in a 20 to a 30-pound braid, you can make those long casts, and when you pop the fish one time, you've got hooks in him by just barely moving it because the braid has very, very little stretch. There's a good fish, I believe. He came up there and bit it. He's got bait all over him. That's good. Over here on this windy side of things, I want a little bigger profile. A little bigger profile where they can see it. Get out. Get up here. That one hit it sitting still. Pop, pop, pop. Sitting still, pop, 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 sitting still. 
got to listen to them. So we're going to continue down this bank. Now the bait's got rattles in it. It's got a great shad profile. It's got the pretty tail. And then the good movement. Pretty little fish. But you got to listen to what they're telling you. Got to listen to what they're telling you. That one wanted it on the pause. Let's see if we can't make that happen again. 